Think about anyone you know that has had cancer. Did someone personal come up? This is because cancer is the number two leading cause of death amongst adults around the world. It is the uncontrolled growth of cells that leads to a horrible disease taking control of the body, causing death for many. Current treatments are comprised of targeted cell deaths such as radiology, prescribed medications, and surgeries. But what if there is a different, less invasive way to treat cancer? Hi. My name is Annalise Brown, and I am studying Spanish as well as biomedical science. Last year, I had the wonderful opportunity of studying abroad in Alicante, Spain, where I worked in an immunology lab, studying how stem cells could be used in the treatment of myelogenous leukemia and potentially other forms of cancer. Leukemia is a type of cancer where lymphocytes grow uncontrollably, but more specifically, myelogenous leukemia is the uncontrolled growth of monocytes or granulocytes. My mentor and I worked to understand what happened when K562 cells, or the myelogenous leukemia cells, were interacted with stem cell conditioned media. While I was not able to retrieve conclusive results in the five months I was there, I was able to identify which reaction inhibitors could be used in the MTT reaction process, allowing me to find a more economical way to conduct the experiments, thus making the research I was doing a bit more accessible to universities. On this slide, you can see a tube with a red lid. Within there are my um, cancer cells that I would work with. To the right of that is a paper with some diagrams on it. Um, those are kind of what my mentor would leave me every day to work on within the lab. To the right of that is a microscope slide that has um, the stem cells growing on it. And then to the right of that is me looking at my stem cells in a microscope. Um, not only did I gain an immense, immense amount of knowledge about cells and laboratory procedures, but I also greatly improved my Spanish and cultural understanding. Living in the United States meant learning a Latin American dialect of Spanish, but going abroad to Spain challenged me further to learn a new dialect of Spanish, understand a completely different accent, and incorporate words into my vocabulary that took the place of words that I had learned at home. On this slide, you can see a couple of images um, from places I was lucky enough to travel to. Um, not only did I get a lot of cultural influence from Spain, but I also was able to pick up some cultural things from um, a couple of different places around the world. But to learn more about my time abroad, come see me at the IGP Summit on November 15th. Thank you.